So in this video, we are going to talk about intramuscular injection in poultry. Intramuscular injection is a common method of administering medications and vaccines in poultry. This technique involves delivering drugs directly into the muscle tissue, allowing for rapid absorption into the bloodstream. Poultry farmers and veterinary officers frequently use intramuscular injections to prevent diseases, treat infections, and supplement essential nutrients. The two main sites for intramuscular injections in poultry are the breast muscle and the tight muscle. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how to do an intramuscular injection on both sides. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, kindly hit the subscribe button. Okay, now let's get back into the video. So before you do an intramuscular injection, you need to prepare the equipment. Prepare your automatic syringe. Use a half to one inch length needle. Load the syringe with the correct dosage of the medication. Wear gloves and disinfect the injection site with an alcohol swab. Restrain the bed and identify injection sites. Injecting medication into a chicken's thigh is less commonly used than the breast muzzle. This method is sometimes preferred for smaller bears or when multiple injections are required. So here is how to do the thigh injection. The injection is given into the thick muzzle or on the upper leg. The needle is inserted at a 90 degrees angle into the thickest part of the muzzle. Care must be taken to avoid the sciatic nerve, which runs along the back of the leg. Avoid injecting too deep to prevent damaging organs. Use a clean needle for each bed to prevent disease transmission. Follow the correct dosage guidelines to avoid overdosing. Now let's talk about the breast muzzle. The breast muzzle is the preferred site for most intramuscular injections in poultry. The muzzle is well developed, providing ample space for medication absorption while minimizing the risk of injury to vital structures. To administer an injection in this site, the bed must be properly restrained to prevent excessive movement. The injection is given at a 45 degree angle into the thickest part of the muzzle, ensuring that the needle does not penetrate too deeply or hit the keel bone. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.